Millions of people around the world use inhalers for asthma or other lung ailments. But a new Stanford study shows that even just one hit can lead to some serious environmental damage. How did you come up with the idea for this study? One of my colleagues at LPCH reached out and said, hey, we need an allergist or an asthma doctor to help us switch to environmentally friendly inhalers at Stanford. And that's how I kind of set about trying to figure out the carbon footprint of all of these inhalers. And we found that our meter dose inhalers that we've had in our country for many years have a high carbon footprint. They release greenhouse gases into the air, which can contribute to global warming. And we are using these inhalers a lot more than we're using the inhalers that don't contain greenhouse gases. Show me how those gases are released into the environment. When a patient uses this inhaler, it's gonna release those propellants into the air. So we'll breathe it in, we'll breathe it back out, it'll be released into the air. And about one third of those propellants will be left in the inhaler even after we're done using it and will be released into the atmosphere slowly if it's not disposed of properly. When you use the inhaler, it seems so minimal in terms of affecting the environment. If we think about it in terms of carbon emissions, it would be equivalent to driving 60 miles in your average gasoline powered car. But if we add up all of these emissions, it is the equivalent of powering all the homes in a city the size of approximately Milwaukee. With this medication, nothing is gonna spray out. You're basically gonna get the medicine in your lungs by taking a deep breath in. We use them to treat asthma and COPD. Just looking at that population alone, it was close to 70 million prescriptions. If we think about it in terms of the whole population, it's probably at least double that. Wow. We're trying to save the environment by switching the inhalers, but those new devices may be too costly for the patient. It can be affordable, depending on what we switch to. There's probably alternatives that are gonna be really acceptable and affordable, but we just wanna make sure that that's something we're mindful of.